Good morning, fellas. This is the day after, the morning after, to be more precise. Yesterday we went out for a little Sky Mule Maiden and we succeeded, more or less. We got some casualties because one of the motors simply ripped off by the landing. The usual issue. Otherwise it flew pretty good on free cell and uh, I can tell you, I was pretty satisfied. She's fast, that's what she is. We uh, uh, changed the props because the three blade block props just broke. Um, so I took these nine inch, about eight inch, and they were pretty good. I had her at 40% uh, thrust and she was speedy. Uh, so she came off here, the motor block came off. But that's not the pr a problem of a problem, just make it a little more stable. Maybe I take some fiberglassing and coat it here because this really gives some stability. And I, th I think she needs stability here. The first thing I did was to take a closer look at the motor mounts. How could they be reused? And which motors would probably fit in? Of course you need new motor mounts to hold the motors. Luckily somebody already has made his mind about it and designed something like that. At this point I have to put a big shout out to my man Landflieger who then printed these for me. Solving one problem brings of course up the next issue. The motors were just too big to be mounted in that place. I ended up with just mounting the motors directly to the mount. The pre-designed holes for the screws didn't fit so I had to make new holes and just connect the motors there. Keep in mind, if you plan to do the holes, that the wires of the motors have to face downwards. Otherwise, you will get trouble with space remaining in the nacelle. The final big quest in this game here is just to get the motors connected again. How the hell do we get the screws in? Yeah, from the little hole behind. And don't get me wrong, you dirty minded little bastards. We're talking about planes, right? Fine. The rest of it all stays as a piece of cake. Reassemble the nacelles, do some fiberglassing, um, coloring, and there you go. After having glued them back on the wings again, it's time to put them to a test. Whoa, those motors run pretty smooth. They consume 53 amps at max power, three cells. I'll put a link in the description so you'll find where I got it from. I guess it's time to remain the bird, don't you think? 